Hey, it's Nal Rogers here. I'm hanging with my brother DJ Black Magic down here in Nashville, and I'm having a really good time. And why is it so hot down here? The first thing I thought, um, if you go sequentially, the first thing I thought was that it was another band that had cut our record and that the, the, the DJ who was at the club, I thought he was rapping over the, the beat. Um, and then when I saw him at the bar drinking a split of champagne, I was like, whoa, how are you doing that? Then I went and I said, let me see the record and I didn't see my name on it. So at first I got a little angry, but then we got we threatened a lawsuit, everything got cooled out, and you won't believe how fast that all happened. So everybody makes a big deal out of it, but the truth of the matter is, from the beginning of the threatened lawsuit until the resolution was all about two months. We made a lot of money, their label made a lot of money, that was the beginning of commercial hip hop, and all is right with the world. I'm actually just happy to be here, I'm happy to see the the progress that we're making. I'm happy to see um, an incredible institution being built to pay homage and honor our unique American art form. I mean, I, I've been all over the world and people have told me that if it wasn't for black American music, pop music wouldn't really exist. So people can take that any way they want, but that's where it's coming from.